Hey, welcome to Dev Talks. This is our chance to play with the coolest industrial tech in the industry. And today we're lucky enough to have Jay Kim, the Chief Strategy Officer for Upskill, formerly APX Labs. How are you doing today, Jay? Good. Good to be back in Cleveland. All right. So, Jay, can you tell us um, exactly what Upskill does for people that aren't familiar? Upskill builds uh, software for smart glasses, creating augmented reality experiences that are, that are hands-free. And our product is called Skylight, and uh, I'm here today uh, to, to show you a demo of the new platform. So, Jay, what are some of the new features of Skylight? What we have done with uh, the new release of Skylight is to go and make accessibility uh, of smart glasses that much easier to companies of you know, all different applications across multiple industries. And a lot of that you know, really centers around uh, having a number of feature sets that are, that are brand new that can be delivered in um, public cloud settings to, to be able to ease uh, adoption. Um, and equipping folks to be able to go and create their own, own workflows, having remote assistance with uh, live telestration, uh, being able to do process documentation, all of those things no longer require a programmer to have to go and figure out how to code programs on, on these kinds of glasses. A factory supervisor can sit in front of a, a web browser and create all those experiences themselves. Anyone, for example, anyone with uh, the ability to use a web browser can now go and create AR-driven workflows. Um, if you look at the smart glasses market, I feel like um, you know, we're, we're at that kind of the, the inflection point. Uh, there's interest that's happening all over the world, and a lot of that interest is now starting to materialize into doing real projects. And people are coming at it with very specific ideas as to how this technology can go and uh, drive productivity gains, quality improvements, and efficiency. Some of the largest industrial enterprises in the world are starting to adopt this technology and putting that into the hands of their, their actual workforce. Mm. So if you look at some of, our, some of the, the case studies that we have put out there in publications like the Harvard Business Review, uh, we certainly have shown that in a side-by-side -side video fashion, one without smart glasses and one with smart glasses, you're simply doing work faster. So, you know, there's an obvious productivity gain there. One of the things that I think we, uh, we continue to learn is that AR, is, um, AR and, and wearables are, it's such a change agent uh, that can add a lot of disruption, um, disruption in a very positive way. So, what do we have right here, Jay? You've got the, the Glass Enterprise Edition. So this is the, the now, now famous um, second coming of uh, Google Glass, but now targeted towards the, the industrial worker. Some of the specific things that were added to that device is, as you can see, the ability to go and clip into an ANC rated safety glasses frame. So you've got the side shields there that fold in and out. And the entire frame also folds as well, which is a, a huge usability kind of a benefit to, um, uh, to the industrial user. And um, lastly, the, the side that, that you see kind of here in that dark, uh, dark blue is um, that's also now modular. What I'd like you to do now is to use your right, um, right hand to go and press on that button right there. And then just twist out the, the frame. Perfect, just like that. All right. So what this now means is that people can have their different prescription frames and other kinds of things like that. And of course, they can take the, the pod that makes these uh, safety glasses, smart safety glasses, and you can, you can now go and uh, carry on with your work. It feels pretty light and seems just by scrolling my finger back and forth, I can scroll through the icons. And as far as the, what the monocular display looks like, I'm surprised how clear it is. It just looks like it's floating there. It's not an actual, like a, you'd be looking at a TV. It's, it's just like floating around in space, which is pretty cool. You can almost like see uh, behind it, which I can guess for safety purposes uh, would definitely be an advantage over other ones. So what are some of the other big reasons that now's a great time for enterprises to get the glass? So Glass Enterprise Edition is actually very unique uh, in that as a, as a device, it doesn't actually have any of the, the consumer software applications um, that, you know, that, that connect back into the Google server. So 
um, Glass Enterprise Edition, as well as the other glasses that are, that are out there, now can operate independent of any of the third-party services, which means that industrial enterprises can now go and deploy these things knowing that you know, they own all of the data that is associated with it. What's this other pair of smart glasses we have here? So this is the, the Vuzix M300, uh, also one of the, the newer products. And between the Glass Enterprise Edition and the Vuzix M300, you really are looking at two of the, the more popular devices that are being deployed out into uh, industry today. Mm -hmm. And uh, on that, I've got a live demo that I'd love to be able to show you of our, our latest um, Skylight release. John, so you've got uh, the Vuzix M300s now on, and um, tell me what you're seeing. Right now, I see open settings. So what I'll, what I'll show here, and I'm, I'm cheating a little bit here, is um, this interface that you're seeing in the back is a, a mirror image of uh, what you're seeing out there as well. So this is your basic um, Skylight interface. So um, what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna work with you on is to walk through uh, an example interface. Um, and this really kind of highlights the ability to go and push workflows to, to you, who now have both your hands free, but you can go and access everything as you go. So um, you've got two different workflows that are preloaded within Skylight. Why don't I have you use the buttons at the top of the, the device to uh, get to the engine maintenance and inspection demo. Okay, and there's three on my fingers and this first one goes forward and we switch there and the back one is essentially like an enter button, correct? That's right. And I have view maintenance history and perform engine inspection. So within this, you, this is an example of a workflow where you're a, a service technician that's looking to go and repair a piece of equipment. And of course, as you're navigating through these on the buttons, you can also uh, use voice to be able to select different elements as well if you would like. Um, and here, as you're going into the, the view parts, Skylight can give you images of the specific parts that you have to go and pull together before you go and start the maintenance process. So let's have you go back by, select, uh, by pressing, long pressing the, the back button there. Is that supposed to be? So you've actually uh, selected the, the bearings, which actually gives you a larger image of the part that you're supposed to see. And let's go through to the next steps. Step, so this is where the really, uh, the workflow part of the, the application works is that it's giving you, you know, steps one, two, three, and four, and giving you almost like a checklist of things as you are, you know, maintaining this engine or repairing this engine to, to bring it back into service. So, so far it's pretty intuitive. Good, I'm, I'm glad easy to. to. Easy to do, maybe that's all the years of playing video games. <laughs> uh, what I can do here is to also switch back into the web dashboard. So we're going to do a little bit of a role play. And um, you know, you're, the, you're the, the maintenance tech that's out in the field. And I'm sitting in front of this uh, computer that we have behind us. And um, I have the ability to actually see that you're online. And um, I can also give you a, a video call. You're in a, a remote assistance uh, video call with me now. And um, you know you can see I can see what what you can see. So um, you certainly have the ability to hear me as well. And uh, let me do a couple of things here. So turn and face me. And I can do uh, within this window. I can take a snapshot of me taking a snapshot mm -hmm. of you. And I can navigate over to this. Um, this attachments window, and this is all brand new within Skylight now. I can go and let's say I'm going to draw funny things. Let's go and give me devil horns. I'm not very good with the mouse at this uh, distance, but can you see uh, me having marked up that image there? Yes, definitely. And if I go back to that screen, I can mm -hmm. see that you can see that as well. Mm. So that's just kind of having fun, right? But let's talk about how this is actually being used in, in real life which is um, for me, the remote, remote um, operator, to, to be able to go and push down reference materials down your way. So what I can do here is um, I can go within that same window, and I can go and upload a file.
beautiful upscale logo. And I can go and mark up, you know, let's say, let's say that you're in my office and you're having to go and repair the sign. Or you're repairing an aircraft engine or any other, you know, complex piece of equipment. I can now go and draw on that again. Can you see Travis when I'm looking like that? Yeah, I can see Travis. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be in the video, but... Uh, <laughs> um, so there's but, a little bit of a delay, like, what, half a second? It, it really does depend on your network connectivity. And, um, you know, if you're under good network conditions, then, you know, less than half a second. But, you know, mm -hmm. the point being is that that's a standard network uh, latency that you would have even if you were to go and pick up the, you know, pick up the phone and FaceTime someone. Uh, the biggest improvement and the enhancement is this all new feature called the Application Builder. Uh, you see that in the, in the web here. Uh, it's a web-driven interface to, to go and allow users of any you know, technical knowledge level, someone who doesn't know how to program at all, for example, to be able to go and create these Skylight applications which contain the workflows that you saw in your glasses. Mm -hmm. So John, I'll, I'll show you an example of the workflow that you are seeing here. And if you look at these cards, view maintenance history, perform engine inspection, all these are things that, that were shown on your glasses before, if you recall. What I can now do is to navigate through all these different workflows. I can go in to the right, and I can go and type you know, the, the exact content that you want shown as a part of it. Um, if, for example, I am a master service technician that has been working on, you know, working for the, the same company for 30 years and I know everything and anything that there is to know about all the products that I'm supposed to go and service, then I now have the ability to go and convert a lot of those things into applications that I can now go and share with uh, some of the junior technicians. So if I go back to that web-based interface here, I, for example, have the ability to grab one of these nodes on the left side here, and I can go and drop that in as a part of that workflow, and I can now create a make a call interface. So within a given workflow, if you thought, okay, well, I know that I set all these things here in terms of work instructions, but maybe you need to be able to call me so that I can walk you through this live, a lot like um, what we were doing earlier, you now have the ability to, to go and add that and then push that to the, the device. So these kinds of drag and drop capabilities really make uh, being able to develop for these smart glasses so much easier, and it's available out of the box as a part of the new Skylight release. So that'll wrap up this edition of Ned Talks. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you want to find out any more information about Upskill and Skylight, where can they go, Jay? Our website is uh, upskill.io. And uh, if you just simply Google Upskill and Smart Glasses, um, you know, you'll see a number of different case studies and everything else that we're doing. You can also follow us on, on Twitter. And of course, you can always get more information about Upskill and other wearables at newequipment.com. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day.